Hi everybody, this is another outfit of the day with a corset and today I'm wearing a Victoria's Secret strap convertible dress and I actually got this on a huge discount just because it has a little bit of a stain there but whatever, I can just put a brooch there or I can pin it so that it doesn't show. Um, but I am wearing a corset underneath here. Right now I'm wearing a corset that's slightly too big in the hips actually. So if I were wearing a shorter cincher that's you know not long line or if I was wearing one that was more fitted in the hips then this pooch thing um, happening right here wouldn't be quite as obvious but um, one important part of this strapless dress and the fact that it goes well with corsets is the fact that this has ruching along the sides here and actually along the back and what you can do is you can pull that up and the ruching will hide any sort of pooch that's happening if you have a pooch um, when you wear a corset as well. So I'm wearing a shirt because I'm actually going to take this off, but before I do that, I'm going to show you from all angles. So you can see that the curve of the corset is still quite visible underneath the dress, however it's softened by the bulk of the convertible straps going round and round. And these straps also hide like the, the bone boning channels and all the other kind of hardware of the corset that's normally visible through very lightweight clothing. So if I take this off, you can see that I wrapped it around once or twice and this is the reason why I'm wearing the shirt underneath. And you can see that um, this particular dress, it has an empire waist. You can pull it up or down depending on how much cleavage you want to show. But um, when I'm doing future outfits of the day, you will realize that um, empire waists will be a recurring thing because they're very good at hiding um, corsets, basically. Another way that you can wear this dress to hide the corset is not having the straps at the front, but actually turning it around. Excuse me, this is a little bit tedious. <laughs> And once again, the ruching of the skirt is going to hide a lot of the, um, the corset. However, you can buy a convertible dress that has that swooping out A-line or circle skirt because that also hides um, the, the corset very well if you don't want anything really fitted from the waist down. The only caveat with that is when you're wrapping the straps around your waist, you're also pulling down that fullness of the skirt, so it's going to make you look a little bit larger in the midsection. But anyways, so... Pulling this up, you can see that I have the waist at uh, the underbust area to cover the corset. And in the back here, I just take the straps up. And this is for somebody who wants to you know, have a little bit more coverage in their shoulders. I often wear my convertible dresses this way. I've made a couple of my own, um, and I often wear them this way because I have some um, scars on my shoulders that I often like to hide. And then you just wrap it around the same way like this. And you can wrap this in the front or the back for um, time's sake, I'm wrapping it in the front here. But you can have it like kimono like sleeves or you can put it up like so, so it's more looks more like a halter top. And the next thing that I want to show is how easy it is to put on these sandals when you're wearing a corset. A lot of people have a rule where you have to put on your shoes before you put on a corset. For me, that's just not practical. I live in an area where it's customary to not wear shoes inside the house. And obviously I'm wearing a corset inside the house. So, it, I mean, every time I want to go outside, I would have to loosen my corset or take it off completely, then put on my shoes, then put on the corset again. That's not practical. So. I don't wear a lot of um, tie-up shoes. I have some running shoes, but in the summertime, like it is now, I like to wear strappy sandals and everything. So um, this would probably not uh, work for tie-up shoes or you know running shoes or sneakers or anything like that. However, if you have any of these sandals where you have elasticated um, back of the heel or buckles in the back of the heel, this could work. However, you do need a wall or a door or a good friend to help you keep your balance with this if necessary. But basically, I just put it down. I cram my toe in there. And then to put it on, I just put it behind me like I'm doing a hamstring stretch and that's it. So it really takes me not that much time to put on my shoes even when I'm wearing a corset. 
So I hope this helped and I hope this gave you a few more ideas on how to dress with your corset or hide it underneath clothing. And this is good for um, office wear if you want to pair, pair this with a blazer. It's also good for parties or barbecues right now. Um, so just use your imagination. So if you liked this video, then please click the like button, help support the channel. If you want more outfits of the day geared towards certain events, such as formal wear, work wear, um, going out with friends, let me know so that I can tailor these outfits of the day, tailor, get it, um, to more to your tastes. And um, I guess that's it. Comments and questions, leave them down below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.